Hello guys, welcome to SFDC Adda channel. So today we will look how to install VS Code for Salesforce. So you can see this we have a seven points. So we will follow these steps to install VS Code for Salesforce. So let's start. So this is a link to install VS Code. So it will redirect to this site. This is like you can see. This is a tested site, so you can download the VS Code exe file for Windows. So it will download. We can also follow the second step. So second step is like download Salesforce DX CLI. So this is like link for CLI. Click on this. So you can find the option Mac, Windows, Linux. So I want to download for Mac. So you click on the window here. This button. If you have 86, but my window is for 64. So I will download for 64. Okay, let's go to downloads. So I don't want this 66, I want only for 64 this VS code. So let's install the VS code. Accept. Next. 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 Install. So it will take uh, some time. Okay. It, it is installed. So you can see this is the VS code is stored. Now let's go for CLI. Double click on this. It will ask you pop up. Let's click on yes. Just keep everything default. Next, install. So it will take some time as well. So let it be installed. Okay, it is done. Close. So let's go to VS Code back to the VS code now so what is the third step this is like we have to install salesforce extension packs in VS code so go back to VS code here you will see these icons in the left hand side so this is extensions so here you can search salesforce extension pack so we have this first one select this click on install yeah so select this So this is installed. Now let's go to fourth step. Create a Salesforce manifest project. 
So if you want, you can close the VS Code and open it again. Uh, so then search it like VS Code. Click on this. Okay. To refresh the like actions and everything, you can close and open it again. So let's uh, create a project. So you can you know type control shift p s f d x okay so this is like when uh cli installed so you can see we have we will have a sfdx command so when you uh use control shift p okay so it will open this box and you search sfdx create project with manifest click on this Some time takes time. So let's see. Okay. Still in time. Okay. Okay. Now it is open. So yeah, sometime it takes time because we have uh, you know started the VS Code uh, as a fresh. So it will take time initially. Okay. So let's uh, add, put enter. Do not check anything, just put enter. Just uh, put the any project name. So you can give any like test. Test SFTC. So click on this. If here you want to store, so you can store uh, like here, like if I can store on like C, C is also a like good location. SFTC project. I'll create a new folder under this. Just select the location. So, yeah, select this pop up. So, it will create this project. Okay. So, you have created a Salesforce as a manifest project, SFDX project. So now let's follow f the fifth step. This is like, okay, we need to authorize your Salesforce org. So this is, you can see, once you create a project, you can see no default org set. Once you click on this, it will open your SFDX, this option, SFDX authorize an org. Once you click on this, so it will ask you which org you want to authorize products and sandbox or uh, sometime uh, sometime you uh, you also have a custom url so you can just copy the url and paste it here once after selecting this custom so but uh, we are using the production org like as for personal org as a production org so let's use this production and you can give any name like whatever the name of your org or whatever. So I'll just give uh, SFTC under. Okay. So it will open on this. You can I'll type. Let me check what is that. Okay, so I do have a like authentication, so I'll check my mobile device. Okay. 
we need to authorize from my system this is like salesforce authorization process okay so i got a code through zero two nine seven six this is like salesforce authenticator app i used so once this authorize you will see authentication successful come back to vs code authorize or successfully ran okay so we have successfully authorized a salesforce org with vs code and you can see the name whatever you have given at the time of creation of you know authorization of org so what is the next step mm, let's go back so retrieve the component from salesforce into vs code so once you see once it is authorized you can see this is like project uh, created in the vs code so there is a file if you go to the manifest there is a package.xml file so this is like by default it is created so you can see we have a um, different different type of metadata apex component apex pages okay so as of now we have uh, these one but you can add as per your need okay so once you click uh, here once you click on right click there's option retrieve source in manifest from org or this is like deploy this is deploy is something like once you do any change in any file you want to push changes from vs code to salesforce you can use this option so uh, i want to retrieve the uh, component so we'll use this so it will take some time because it will fetch all the components in the meantime i'll show you in the left hand side this is like our browser this icon uh, would appear here once you will authorize the org with the salesforce successfully so here also once you click here it will load all the org browser metadata so everything is running parallelly so it will take some time cool it is loaded so uh, sometime like we don't need to fetch all the components in vs code so if you want like you can use this option so whatever the like class individual class or whatever the components you need you can fetch that class only using this icon okay so you can see this is successfully ran so if i go back to the project so everything will come under this force app so you can see i have these many auras these many classes okay this many components so everything is retrieved okay so next step is if i want to create a sim sample lightning web component so use same control shift p and uh, you can use search create lightning web component so you will find this option click on this give any name test lwc click on this by default it will save in the same location yeah okay i i already have the test lwc so let's cancel it let's use any click again test lwc one i hope this is not available yeah this is created great so you can see this all the lwc component would come under this lwc folder so the component is created okay so this is a component so guys that is all how to install vs code i think hope you understood thank you